Yeah, Mike, the grant funds are specifically intended for physical safety enhancements like new security cameras, public address systems, automatic door locks, visitor badging systems, and even exterior lighting. The money will benefit dozens of schools in our area. Millions of dollars headed to greater Cincinnati school districts to help keep students safe in the classroom. More than a half million dollars is coming to the Forest Hills School District. Welcome news for Director of Business Operations, John Eckert. Well, it's huge. Uh, the main thing that we must provide is a safe environment for our students. Eckert has worked with the district for eight years and is also a parent. He says a lot has changed quickly when it comes to school safety. Even when I first started teaching, I mean, it was, you just left the doors propped open and you open campuses. It's a different environment now, but I think we can create with the right type of security, a well, very welcoming environment for the students so they don't feel the, the security, if that makes sense. Forest Hills was just awarded $504,000 from Governor Mike DeWine's office, part of a combined $57.8 million in school safety grants that will make a difference in more than 700 Ohio schools. Forest Hills applied for funding for all nine schools and was awarded money for these eight. Nagel Middle School and Turpin High School received the most, $100,000 each. Cincinnati Public Schools received a total of $925,570 state dollars for 21 schools. Eckerd showed us one of his district buildings where the money will go to work. Nagel Middle School's outdated camera system is going to be digitized, allowing remote access for administrators and even police in case of emergency. We're still dealing with analog systems here, you know, and the, to do an entire switchover was well outside of our budget possibilities, but now it's not. Now the grant funds are part of the governor's K through 12 school safety grant program, which helps schools pay for those physical security expenses. This is the third and largest round of funding the governor's office has announced as part of the program. Jatara McGee, WLWT News 5.